Hi guys, I'm working with Rio today and now that we're getting some progress made about him not being so head shy and worried about things near and touching his face, I thought it would be a good time to start working on changing his halter out. He's pretty close to meeting his other tip requirements and this has been the one thing that's been holding us back all this time is that <clears throat> he's been really difficult about his face, anything near his face or touching his face or coming at his face. So we've done a lot of work and I, I, we're doing pretty good with that now. Um, so I thought today might be a good day and this might be a good horse to show you guys how I work on haltering. Um, I, I don't, there's not really a right or a wrong way to do this, but this is the way that I do it. And Rio is a big horse and I'm a short person and I have a bad shoulder on my right arm that doesn't go, I can't reach up all the way. So sometimes when I'm trying to take the the earpiece over the top of their ears if they're getting their head up or if they're a big tall horse I have a really hard time doing that and I've learned that I can create problems by struggling that just with my physical issue that I have so um, I'll show you guys what I do so I like using the rope halters and this is my stick and string, but I've taken the string off. And on the end of my stick and string, there's this rubber piece with the hole. And I just like to stick the part that goes around over their ears and around their neck through that hole. And then I get the horse used to having this rubbed over their ears and flung over their neck and seeing it like coming from the other side and all that stuff before I try to walk up and just put it on and tie it. So we'll try this with Rio and, and see how that goes today. All right, so the first thing, and I did a little bit of this before I started the video, not a whole lot, but I work on, <clears throat> just like if it were the stick and string, I work on just kind of flinging it at him and making sure he's not scared of the halter, getting it up over his neck. Good boy. And I do this a lot with the stick and string and the lead rope before I ever get to this part, so. Hopefully, with most horses, by the time I'm doing this, this isn't a big, scary thing for them. And so, uh, once they feel like they're going to be okay with having it flung around, I, I just move it around. And just like, you know, if, if this were my hand, I'd be moving it around, but I can't reach up that high. So, this, the stick is doing that a little bit for me. And then I take it away and tell him what, what a good boy he is. Are you a good boy? Are you? Yeah. Will you let me put it up over your ears? Oh, good. Oh, what a good boy. That's very good, Rio. That's very good, Rio. Oh, yes. Let me run it down your nose. Oh, that's good, Rio. That's so good, Rio. Yeah. Oh, rub this on his face. You see what an improvement this is? He would not let anything touch his face for the longest time. Now he lets me rub it with my hand. He takes bread from my hand. He's getting to be such a good boy. Aren't you? Getting to be such a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I feel like he's doing pretty good with that. So I'm going to see. Oh. Come here he feels about me moving it with my hand right here. Remember you want to try and break things down into tiny steps, especially the first couple times you do something with a horse, so that you know if they're going to accept it or not, and they start to build confidence and understand what you want before you go for the, the final goal. You going to let me touch this? No? 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 Good boy. Move it around under his neck. That's good. That's a good boy. All right. You doing good? Let's see how you feel about me putting it over your nose. Good. Good boy, Rio. Good boy. 
far as this one goes. You need to get that far away from your camera and you only should be able to see. Uh oh, sticky feet. Don't have sticky feet. Then you have to move your feet. Get sticky feet. Go ahead and take the stick and string off your halter and see if you'll let me do it up. Yeah? You think we can do it up? Yeah? Yeah. And I'm just doing this over his other halter and that way if we have, he gets away or we have a little moment, <laughs> I still have him caught and it won't be so hard. also spent time getting him used to having my hands up here and he still isn't a huge fan see but he's getting better pretty painless we got it on and that's that's his first time having a halter on without being in a shoot because up until now I couldn't touch him <laughs> couldn't touch that face so I'm gonna do this several more times just take it on take it off put it back on take it off put it back on take it off put it back on and then um, He'll probably be done for today because we've already worked on some of our other stuff. So that was really good, Rio. Good boy.